All right, example six, we're gonna sketch the graph of the function that satisfies the following conditions. All right, so as x approaches two from the right, we're going to infinity. And as x approaches negative two from the left, we're going to negative infinity. So as I get close to two from the right, I'm going to infinity. And as I get close to it as we, to two from the left, we're going to negative infinity. This should be a hint to you guys that this is a vertical asymptote. Anytime there's an infinity involved, it's either a vertical or horizontal asymptote. Okay, so this is a vertical asymptote. And then if I were to draw it, as I get close to two from the right, we're going to infinity. So I say, here's my line of two. So I'm gonna put my asymptote on there. So we got x equals two. And as we approach it from the right, we're going to infinity. So we got that going up. Then as you approach two from the left, we're going to negative infinity. So I'm gonna make a little note that we gotta be going down as we get close to that. Then as I move on, the plus or minus, anytime we're going to infinity, this is telling me my horizontal asymptotes, my HAs. Okay, and I'm saying there's one at one. So this is really telling me the horizontal asymptote at y equals one. So I'm gonna label it y equals one. And as we go to the left and the right, we gotta get close to that line, okay? Drawing these on here, this is gonna be my graph in red. So then the last thing is telling me negative three, zero. So I've got a point negative three comma zero. So negative three, zero. So using that information, I know that I have to connect here and go through this point, and then I have to get close to my asymptote. So there's one. And then this one, just have this. So this would be one possible sketch using my information that was given. Okay. Then it says find a formula for this function that satisfies the conditions above. Okay. Well, let's talk about one thing, vertical asymptotes. Where do vertical asymptotes come from? Our denominator. And where do I have a vertical asymptote? I have one at two. So if I were going to come up with an equation, what would I have had to have in my denominator to have a vertical asymptote of 2? I would have to have x minus 2 because when I set it equal to 0, I would get an answer of 2. Um, let's come back to our horizontal asymptote because that's leading term over leading term. Um, and then what comes from our numerator? x-intercepts come from our numerator. And guess what this is? This is an x-intercept or a 0. So in order to get an x-intercept of negative 3, what did I have in my numerator to get that answer? x plus 3. Now, horizontal asymptotes are from doing leading term over leading term. So if I were to do x over x, that would be 1, which matches up with what I have here. So here is a possible equation that I could have. So f of x equals x plus 3 over x minus 2. That is example 6.